So what's Tony Hale's next big thing? Well, there's a lot to choose from with movies, TV, and Emmy nominations. He is one busy guy, and we are so excited to catch up with him now. Tony, hi, how are you? It's good to hey. see you, man. So nice to see you. I like this. Thank you. It's getting a little gray, so that's yeah. a change in. How are you feeling about that? Do you like the gray, or do you want I actually to do. I like a little salt and pepper in yeah. there. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, you look in the mirror sometimes and you're like, wow, those mirrors do show up. <laughs> Where'd all that come from? <laughs> I know. It looks good, though. You wear it well, Thank I have to say. Thank you very much. I mean, I understand that you and your family have been doing a lot of walking to kind of, you know, cope with everything or just, you know, manage yeah. everything. It's been, you know, everybody like you, we're all, it's just taking a day to day. I have a 14-year-old daughter, so I think that's... I think my heart breaks the most for these kids just because you know, you're taking them away from their social circles and school friends. And I mean, I don't know, that's, and these kids who are graduating and then entering colleges. I mean, that's, my heart breaks for those. So she's probably, it's tough. So we're trying to kind of, you know, make it the best for her. We went down to visit some family down, at, down South, which was nice. So we all quarantined together. So that was nice. But for the most part, I think recently we did like a, <laughs> We did like a cupcake challenge where we found all these cupcakes in town to see which one we liked. Yeah. Just trying to, you know, find stuff to do during the day. Keep it interesting. I love that. Let me say congratulations to you because Forky was nominated for an Emmy. I think what I'm most excited about that is Bob Peterson, who directed and created it. He is getting the attention he deserves. All those Pixar guys and, yeah. and girls are just geniuses. Yeah. And I just think for the, the spotlight to go on them, because they work, I mean, we as voice actors, it's fine. We come in, we act silly, but they spend months and years working on this stuff. And so I get thrilled that they get the attention they deserve. Well, you also, your, your voice is a big thing, man, your voice work. Archibald and Archibald's next big thing. Yes. You know, what's next for that series? You know, that has been such a gift because I did a children's book years ago called Archibald's Next Big Thing. And I did it because I was realizing in myself, I was always looking at my next thing and I was missing where I was. Yeah. Mm. And so the series mm -hmm. comes out and now Archibald treats everything like it's a big thing. He sees the best in everyone, the best in every situation. This chicken has pretty much become my role model. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just get tremendous and it's fun to be on the creation side of something, you know, not yeah. just doing the voice, but the writing and the and looking over designs and I love it. I love it. I love it. So you're working with AstraZeneca, you know, and huh. why did you want to be a part of this campaign? Yeah, honestly, I've had asthma since I was a kid mm. and it has been uh, a journey. I was the kid who it, uh, my inhaler was like my blankie. I don't remember a time where I didn't have my inhaler with me uh -huh. or it wasn't a part of my life. And so when I got this opportunity to work with AstraZeneca and to help educate others how they can control their asthma, I jumped at it just because yeah. I understand that feeling. It's a very yeah. scary feeling. And honestly, I kind of came into it thinking I knew everything there was to know about asthma. But the truth is it's not a one size fits all disease. Um, I I thought mainly it was caused by triggers outside the body. Come to find out about 70% of people who struggle with asthma, they have an elevated number of a white blood cell called eosinophils. Hmm. And you find that out through getting a blood test. So if people go to this website called easthma.com, you can find out about eosinophilic asthma and about getting a free blood test because that way you can really get a personal approach to your asthma care. And that's exciting to me because it's, I have a lot of empathy for people who struggle with it because people who don't have it, they don't get that. It, it feels like you're breathing through a straw sometimes, you know, and yeah. it can be really scary. So this opportunity is very exciting. And just the resource to go to this website and find out how you can help yourself. Well, this has been such a pleasure talking to you. I loved it. Make sure to follow Tony on social media for updates on all of his projects. And for more on the asthma campaign, visit easthma dot com. Tony, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. And please take care of yourself.